<clears throat> Good morning, Americans. This is your private alien and Bubba here on Friday, February 14th, 2020. TGIF. Oh, yeah, and happy Valentine's Day there to all you ladies. From your favorite alien and especially Mr. Ladies Man Bubba here. Uh, wanted to do a video today and call it DNC's Nightmare. And it is not Tulsi Gabbard's. So here we go. Well, when this election cycle started last year, with all those people running, the DNC didn't like Tulsi Gabbard, so they put everything in place to keep her down. And they put everything in place to help Joe Biden. They made the delegate counts so that they favored Joe Biden and hampered Tulsi Gabbard. Because to me, if you're in a delegate and you get 3%, you get at least one delegate. 6%, you get 2. 12%, you get 3. 24%, you get 4. And if you get 48%, well, then you get 8. You see what I mean? Um... Something like that. But anyway, Democrats don't do it that way, the DNC anyway. So what happened? Well, <clears throat> they didn't count on their 60 years of disaster coming back to bite them in the derriere, which it did. You've had four, uh, three presidents in 46 years. Clinton, who started leftist and had to find his way back to the center in order to govern to get a second term. And then you had Carter, a disaster. Then you had Obama, who had issues of his own. He wasn't there to be president. He was there to humiliate the United States. Oh, we did a lot of mistakes. Did he help his further African Americans? Hell no. He killed them with Obamacare. That's who hurt the most was the African American population got hurt the most by Obamacare. So you see Democrats and you DNC guys and then you bought every Tom and Dick and Harry here for the last 60 years. So now you got a population. Look who you're running. You got Sanders, a socialist and not a Democrat. He considers himself an independent. Yeah, kind of crazy running on your party, huh? Because he gets the money. Uh, then you got Buttigieg. What kind of name is that? That's not American. That seems to be a Tom, Dick, and Harry that came in here. Kurbasha, same way. Yang. Booker. There's an African American. How come he didn't fare good? Because there's a backlash against African Americans from Obama's time. Just like there was a backlash against Clinton uh, when uh, uh, George W. ran against uh, Al Gore in 2000. Well, then you had the opposite. You got the less, the worst of all evils in Trump, as you Democrats call them, in there. But you had a lousy candidate and Hillary Clinton, and that's what you DNC. You put your things to favor her. You stole it from Sanders, remember? So now you're trying to steal it from Tulsi Gabbards, and it's come back to backfire you. Because Tulsi is the only candidate that has red, white, and blue written on it. She is American to the core. The other candidates are not. They are agendas. Bloomberg's got money. He's trying to buy his way in. Buttigieg, well, he's trying to create another Jimmy Carter. Kobasha, well, a lady from Minnesota. Mondale tried that. Remember that? She's like an HHH. So, if you know that, you know her. And then, you're Biden. Your own system killed him. Isn't that funny? The system you put in is going to prevent him from getting any more delegates. <laughs> so, you got a nightmare. You got a candidate you don't want to run for president because you were thinking of, we got to beat Trump. And the only way to beat Trump is vote for Tulsi Gabbard's red, white, and blue. She is going the right way, the American way. 
and the way she's doing her campaign. This is your favorite alien, and bye-bye. Good day.